All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2. So this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2, Round 1, Match 6. So next weekend, you'll be getting matches 7 and 8 of Round 1, and then we'll finally be through with Round 1, and we can move on to Round 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then the playoffs. So much content for you guys going into 2018, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So we have an awesome match for you guys today. We have... The Yuya Pendulum Dragons with the Captain Mount of the West in the YCS division playing Tier 3 Dark Wards versus the Yuma Utopians with the Captain Dueling Duelist Drew in the UDS division playing them Tier 1 Burning Abyss. Uh, links to their channels are in the description. So if Burning Abyss win, one point. But hey, one point's better than no points, right? But if Dark Wards win, that is a whopping three points, people. Three points for the Yuya Pendulum Dragon. So, you know, I, I mean, I'm not saying who I'm cheering for, but I kind of want to see, I'm, I mean, lately in this in this round one, it's been a lot of tier one win, one point rewarded. So hopefully we can see an uh, upset and a whole bunch of points be rewarded. So let's go ahead and look at these open hands. I have not watched these replays, so uh, I'm just gonna be commentating and looking forward to some awesome action. So tier three Dark Lords, I mean, it's literally anything that is 2016 or earlier. Dark Lords came out at the end of 2016 and not in the theming of 2015 versus 2016. Uh, one of the decks selected to be one of those. So, yeah, that's fine. Dark Lords can be a tier three. So, I can potentially see this deck stealing a lot of points. So, uh, we have Temptation, which is kind of like their, their Snatch Steal kind of card. or I believe it's like a brain control. They use till the end of the turn. Uh, you got your X tab for your nice draw or each child, whatever her name is, and uh, some draw. So it's not bad. And then over here, we have a 60 card lawn mowing burning of this deck. Ooh, all right. And I mean, this deck does have triple surge, triple graph. So we're going to potentially be seeing this lawn mowing putting a lot of work. So I want to see how this goes down. So who is going first? It looks like we have Burning Abyss over here going first. So I mean, going from. 50, 55 cards all the way down to 38. There's going to be some Burning Abyss effects going off. Oh, my God. So, let's see. Effect. 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 Oh, wow. Really? Just those two. Wow. So, all of them really, and only two went off. All right. Yep. Going to Dante. Going to Beatrice. Uh, this is Burning Abyss. I'm like, PK Fire Burning Abyss actually is more based on the OCG version. So, this actually has three Beatrice. So, just because it's Burning Abyss and not PK Fire, don't underestimate this deck. This deck can be strong as well. So, then the Twin Twister and the Breakthrough skill. Uh, not a terrible opening play, but not as strong as I uh, potentially thought I would see. So, x tab draws, trade in the Christia. Uh, Drew into the Maxi a little bit late. Twin Twister to pop both the back rows. Uh, Beatrice is going to go ahead and detach now to send the Sir. Uh, Sir is going to revive the Dante, and and looks like Sir is going to revive the Dante again. But now the Maxi is being played, uh, potentially to draw two cards. Oh no, Dante is going to grab back the Sir. And, uh, wow, we are just seeing, uh, the Dark Lord's putting in that work, really. All right, so detach. And one of the great things about Burning Abyss, the floating action, the floating action. So, uh, we're seeing, um, uh, the Master, Master Mount, or Nastin, Nastin, I guess this is what his teacher's name is, try to activate his effect to copy the, the Temptation Graveyard for Snatch Steel, but it's going to get hit with Breakthrough Skill for the Negate. But no, no, because you can chain and have, uh, Itch Shell do the same exact thing, so it doesn't matter that Beatrice is, is being taken. And, ooh, ooh, but the Beatrice is still going to go ahead and send. Uh, the thing is that now since you moved the Beatrice out of the way, the Burning Abyss, they can be summoned. There's non non-Burning Abyss on the field, so we're going to go into Dante. Uh, but now we are seeing uh, the Amadusk cop, uh, try to use the Fallen from Grace to potentially pop the Dante. And it's just so much floating, so much floating, so many effects are going off. Very powerful plays. Dark Lord doing just get rid of that Twin Twister. And ooh, ooh, we're seeing the summon of a Vanity Fiend. The problem is that uh, the Vanity Fiend is nice and all, but there are things that are stronger than it. So, mm. <laughs> all right. Uh, seeing uh, double tribute summon for Superbia, but Superbia only gets effects when it, when it specs them. But I mean, it's still 2,900, still stronger than both these two right now. Uh, we're gonna see Beatrice detest to send the Scarm, so a potential search during end phase, but. Uh, the hurting is real right now. Uh, we're seeing tour guide, but you have you have vanity screen. You're in the vanity screen. What are you doing? All right. Uh, oh, oh, oh! That was kind of smart. So Alec will then go ahead and 
target of his up on the field, targeting the venue fiend to turn it off. So I'm special summon, and now the third god can special summon this the graph. Dante, and oh my god, this deck is so floaty. Wow, wow, not only did you not mill anything, but you also left the Dante in attack mode, where it's not attacking, so it's not going to defense mode. These two monsters are stronger, and we are potentially looking at a round one win for Dark Lords here, because, I mean, there's not too much going down anymore. Oh, that hand destruction. I mean, what, what is hand destruction going to do when you don't have a hand to destroy, right? And, uh, yeah, this, the Dark Lords is slowly picking apart Burning Abyss. The resources are running out, and there's not as much floating going on as you would expect. Uh, it's tab for the draw, and, God, it is looking like this might be going down. It might be it. If we get access to a Tier 3 deck, beat a Tier 1 deck, and get that W and get those three points, I would be I would be ecstatic right now. And it looks like I mean, I'm not I'm not seeing any way to stop. Is that game? All right, Karma Cut can yeah, but that's still game. So yes, round one, game one, game one goes to Dark Lords. Wow. So are we going to see Dark Lords take game two and get three points, or are we going to see Burning Abyss bring it back for games two and three? So let's go ahead and find out. All right, game two. So over here. We have Mathematician uh, Shared Ride, which potentially might be able to, even out with a couple of searching, uh, open up a tutorial. That's not terrible. Uh, really, it's just how you mill and how you play and how you float with Burning Abyss. We can't underestimate it. Like, we literally gave Burning Abyss everything that we could possibly give them. I think the only thing that they're missing is that they're not allowed to have Rhino because that's more of a later thing. Uh, we're basing it off more of the OCG, but they have three Tour Guide, three Sir, three Graph. Three Beatrice, like, this deck is stacked. Don't don't underestimate. Just because PK fires and do not underestimate Burning Abyss. Over here, and Dark Lords, I mean, opened up with two each teller. Each tab is not too terrible. You might have to pitch and draw uh, the Gamma Seal and the Christia. The Christia, if you can lock out a special summons, you might just have that easy victory. Who is going first? Okay, it looks like we have... Um, um, oh my god, Burning Abyss going first. All right, that's an interesting play. So we see Mathematician go ahead and send, and you sent Calcab. Did you mean to send uh, Libic? I believe it's Libic is the one who summons the Skarm because you spell summon Skarm, the Skarm's just gonna die, and then you're not gonna get your search the interface. That's definitely a misplay on your part. But hey, I didn't. I never said any of these people who are playing the decks here in the league are perfect. You know, uh, they've had plenty of time, plenty of time when they selected their decks to play test work and learn their deck in and out so i mean the mistakes are made they are made so we're seeing uh shared ride being chained to the the x tab draw um and wow 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 ghost reaper and winter chairs is gonna go ahead and reveal the dante because apparently there is uh, a dante in here yes 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 there is dante reveal to then get rid of all of those Dantes. Damn! Uh, but the problem is, there's not really much to play. Uh, the Ixtab can, hopefully if you can survive, and the Ixtab can go ahead and uh, send the Superbia and draw some more. But ouch, ouch, that hurt. So, uh, Tour God will go ahead and summon an Acid Duel. Alright, well, you're taking the damage. There's 45 right there. But wow, like, just being able to pick out that Dante, ooh, the strategies, the strategies. So Ixtab's gonna go ahead and draw uh, a little bit deeper into the deck. Uh, Twin Twister gonna go ahead and take the neg on the Christia. Regeki, ow, ooh, ooh, nothing to be floating. Oh my god, and I don't know, I don't know, people, I don't know about you. Oh, and the Christia, I don't know about you, but I think that Dark Lords are about to earn, you know, the huge dependent run is about to earn a whopping three points here, people. A whopping three points, alright, that's fine, you send the, gr the graph, but, uh, sorry, Superbia. <laughs> so... I mean, Christia, not Superbia. Superbia ain't doing shit. Superbia already did his job. Christia says no special summoning, dog. So, ooh. Uh, is that game? That's game. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, literally, this entire round one, it's just been tier one scrubbing, getting earned one point, one point, one. But tier three Dark Lords has just beat tier one Burning Abyss. And by the rules of the league, that is three points. Three points. Wow. Three points to the Yuya Pendulum Dragon. That is that can, that counts as if you were just counted as tier one beating other things, one point, that's three points. That's that's three victories. Like wow. There is no doubt that the Yuya Pendulum Dragons are at the top of their division now. Ooh, wow. Alright. That was a good one. That was a good one. I'm glad that we ended off the week just like this. Holy crap. Two oh, Dark Lords beating Burning Abyss. So 
Uh, all I have to say is, Drew, you did a couple misplays. Go ahead and take the time to learn your, your day. Uh, each deck has to be used five times, so you still got to use your Burning Abyss four more times for the regular season. And if you make it to the playoffs, you got to play them in the playoffs as well. So you still have plenty of time to learn your deck, practice it. Uh, but wow, wow. Uh, now, congratulations, Yu Yu Pendant Dragons. Whoever is supporting the Yu Yu Dragons, congratulations. Popping three points. I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to see that. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, uh, be sure to come back for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Trade Alpha League Season 2 next weekend. Uh, we have rounds 7 and round 8, and then round... I mean, matches 7 and 8, and then round 1 will be over. And then we can move on to round 2. So, look forward to that. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. Be sure to put, support these guys' channel in the description of their channels. Click the link, go to their channel, so, so hit the subscribe button, check out their content. But wow, I'm, I'm just so flabbergasted. I'm just like, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Uh, all right, people. Thanks for watching.